Okay, in your folder, you're going to find the page that says find the number. Okay. And down at the bottom here, it says 2 12. Okay, find the number. I'm just going to go over the directions with you really quick on how to do this. So it says, read the clue, find the number. A number is four hundreds more than 142. What is the number? Well, it's four hundreds more. So I'm going to underline the hundred spot. And then I'm going to add four to this digit. Okay, and if I add four to this digit, I'm going to end up with five. Okay, my four and two are going to stay the same. I'm only dealing with the hundred spot. Okay, so this is going to be 542. All right, you're going to do the rest of them like this. Down here it says writing and reasoning. How did you find the answer to exercise 8? Okay, so 8 says a number is 6 ones more than 772. What is the number? I'm going to underline the one spot because that's the spot we're looking at. And I'm going to add six to this number. The other two digits are going to stay the same. So that's going to say 778. Two plus six is eight. Okay. So in writing and reasoning, how did you find the answer to exercise eight? Well, what did we just do? Okay, let's figure it out. We looked at the digit in the what? We looked at the digit in the ones place and added six to that digit. That's what we did. How did you find the answer to exercise eight? That's what we did. So copy that down. Make sure that you have a capital letter and a period. Okay, we need to answer in a complete sentence. Finish the rest of this page 2-12. You can hit pause if you need to and then join us again. We're going to talk about the back side. So hit pause now. Okay, <clears throat> on the back side, make sure your name is on it, and please make sure your name is on both sides. And I know that seems kind of funny, but that's so much easier for me when I'm trying to go through work. That even just taking the time to turn over the page to look at your name is, it's just much easier for you to write your name on both sides. This is... 2-14 and it says value clues. Now really listen. The instructions are very important on this. Okay? We're going to read them together. Use the digits 8, 7, and 3 to make a three-digit number. Circle those. We're using the digits 8, 7, and 3 to make a three-digit number. Use all three digits. Read the clues and write the number. So 
for all of these clues, every answer is going to have an 8 in it, a 7 in it, and a 3 in it. Okay, You have to use all three of these digits for each one of these. But you have to read these clues so you know what order to put those digits in. So you know what goes in the ones place, what goes in the tens place, and what goes in the hundreds place. Now, when I'm doing this, I always make my three lines for each spot. For ones, tens, and hundreds. Always do that. That's going to help keep you a lot more organized. Okay, ones, tens, hundreds. And do the same here. On the bottom, it says, write a different three-digit number. Then write clues for your number. Okay? So you're going to think of a different three-digit number. So not these, not eight, seven, and three. It's going to be any three-digit number you want. Okay? And then you're going to think of clues that go with it. Okay? So maybe if you chose to have a five here in the ten spot, you'd say the value okay, of the digit five in this number is 50. All right? So you'd make your own clues that go with your three-digit number. Hopefully that makes sense. Watch this video again if you're still confused, and I hope you have a good day with math.